come with me. Come with me to discover the secrets of how thoughts become things, and we will manifest like never before. Come with me, and we'll discover a secret so powerful that will take you far beyond your dreams. Come with me on an unforgettable journey. Come with me. It's already yours. Get ready for this adventure. And I'm thankful for today that you found us. So get ready. The time is now. I'm Zelda Kelly. Welcome to Secrets Laws of Attraction. Hello and welcome to Secrets Laws of Attraction. I'm Zelda Kelly and today I'm here to tell you why you don't want anything. That's right. Now I can hear you say, wait a minute Zelda. Yes, I don't want anything but I need this and I need that. I need money. I need my specific person to come back to me. I need to hear from them. I need, I need, I need. No, I'm going to tell you why, and let me explain, because by the time we are done with this little segment, you're certainly going to understand. And I can bet you, as of today, when you are listening to this, you'll understand and you'll agree you don't want anything as well. You've all heard of Neville Goddard or Neville Goddard. He had a technique called the knot technique, N-O-T, knot technique. In this knot technique, he explains how we really don't act as though we want anything. We don't, we don't need or we don't, we don't want this money. We don't want this specific person. We don't want to hear from them. You don't need it. You can go on. You don't want this. You don't want that. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. So stay with me. You see, the subconscious mind and the universe do not speak in verbs. And this is the easiest way that I can explain how this works. They only speak in nouns. So verbs are action words. Adverbs are with L-Y. Nouns are people, places, and things. So the subconscious and the universe together and the frequency, vibration, laws of attraction, affirmations, only recognize the nouns. So when you say, I don't, I don't need this specific person, I don't need them to, text me. Well, what does the universe and your subconscious hear? This specific person texting you. Ah, I can feel the light bulb going on. Let me give you a little example. Some old-fashioned sayings. First of all, a watched pot does not boil. Now, if you're thinking about it, and I like to cook, and many of you I'm sure do. If you stand over a pot and you're waiting for that pot to come to a boil, it seems like it just takes a very long time. But if you put your pot full of water on the stove and you walk to the sink or you get distracted and you do something or the phone rings and boom, you turn around and there you go. That pot is just boiling away and it's ready to go for whatever it is that you need. You see, because you became distracted. The other saying that my grandmother used to say is the moment that you're not looking for love is when it will come. And that is very true. And I know many of you out there have experienced that same thing. So why not use this and these sayings and these examples for everything and anything in your life. Because let's face it, if you already have this person, you're not going to want them. And that's the idea of the laws of attraction. You live in the end result. So by living in the end result, 
Yeah. You don't need that whole idea. You don't need that. You don't need that person or that text. As an example, let's use an example. I don't need. I don't need a home. I already have one. Why would I need another home? Well, what does the universe and the subconscious mind hear? Home. So guess what? They start working together. The universe puts things together. It's like you placing an order online, and now all you're waiting is to have it delivered. That's how it works. I've been very successful with this technique of just walking away from something that I've been trying to work on, working on, manifesting, affirming, and then finally I just put it to the side because I'm happy. I'm happy. Live happily without giving your power to whatever it is, thinking that will make you happy because I'm going to give you an example how I know this. How many times do I hear people calling me and saying, Zelda, I just want to hear from them. And then, okay, you hear from them. And then what happens? You mean to tell me they only said that? What? They couldn't say anything more? Wow, if this were me, and you have to step back and remember, you placed an order with the universe, and you got that order. That's how this works. So you weren't specific. You just said you wanted to hear from them, and you did. But then it wasn't good enough because it wasn't what you wanted to hear. So maybe what you need to do now is you just say, you know what? I don't need to be going out with this person. What does the universe hear? You're going out with this person. The important thing about this is it takes that desperation, it takes the need, and it takes this resistance away from you. And that's what causes us not to be able to produce your desire and receive your desire and manifest your desire. It's because of the resistance. Okay, let's. I'm going to give you an example of resistance. I want you to say right now, I know I have a million dollars. I'm going to look at my bank account and I'm going to have a million dollars. Now that is a technique in order for you to receive money in your bank account. However, when you're saying I have a million dollars, the first thing you feel this little twinge on the inside of you going, yeah, right, I'm going to look at this bank account and I'm going to see that I'm minus 34 cents. That's resistance. That's why things don't come about. That's why it's a hard time. That's why you don't really need or want anything. Why? Because you're acting as though you already have it. Just like the house. If you're wanting a home, if you're believing for a new home, why on earth, if you already had one, would you want another one? Or if you're believing for that person of interest or that specific person, Mr. or Mrs. Wright, but not Mr. or Mrs. Wright now. So if you have them already, why would you already want one? So you see, it takes that resistance, it takes that unknowing part of us, and it puts you right into the future, living into the end, because you know that the universe and your subconscious mind hear only the nouns. Remember, I call it God's noun factor, where he puts together people, places, and things for our benefit when we are ready. So do you think if we're desperate and we're needy and you're calling every day and you say, oh my God, I haven't heard from them. Oh, this is just driving me crazy. I can't live. I'm having anxiety attacks because they were supposed to text me two days ago and they haven't. Does that mean they have someone else? Does that mean they have? Do you hear that? Do you hear, do you hear that? 
So if you take all of that out and say, I don't need for them to ask me out. I don't need for them to text me. It's okay. They don't have to text me. You see what I'm saying? The text is the noun here. The rest just falls into the verb category. But the main subject of the sentence, and maybe that will help you, the main subject of the sentence is what you're focusing on. Isn't this wonderful? Thanks to Neville Goddard, or Neville Goddard, however you want to say it, we now know that we can use the not technique. And it's very rare, not really talked about. But if you're new to this Laws of Attraction, it will certainly help you. And now I can bet you, you don't need or want anything. I want to thank you so much for listening to this episode of Secrets Laws of Attraction. I'm so glad that you're here. And if you'd like to speak with me any further, you can find me on Facebook. You can find me on YouTube. And especially, you can find me and talk to me directly on Psychic Secrets. That's www.psychicsecrets. I'm at Extension 11. And I want to thank them for giving me this platform today to bring this to you. Thanks so much again. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.